Okay, so this tutorial is for different um, hints and tips and tricks of um, how we attach bows to clips, bobbles, Alice bands, um, how to make the bottle caps, um, how to get your twisted boutique bows into the loops into a nice shape, um, how to attach lace uh, to your boutiques, um, and different bits and bobs like that. So to start with, we'll start with uh, the bottle caps. Um, so I've got a 25mm one each image. This I print out my own images and make them. Um, you can make them on Photoshop, but there's also um, a free download called GIMP, um, which is what I make them on, and then just print them out. I've got a one inch hole cutter, which I just got off eBay. So I'll just show on here, you literally slide images into your cutter. They do come with a plastic backing. Take that off and then you'll be able to see the image through the back. Line it up and click it out. And you've got your perfect circle. So once you've done that, you need to get an epoxy dot or sticker. These ones are glitter ones, I'm not sure if you can see, but you can get just clear ones as well. You just peel them off. I'll just put that down upside down, get my image, turn that upside down, and then just pop it on the top. Line it up first, push down, and just give it a quick rub all over, make sure it's stuck properly. And that's going to help to seal the image, gives it a nice look, seals the image. So, to attach this, I don't use hot glue to attach the, the image to the cap. Um, it doesn't always stay there and it can make it a bit lumpy and bumpy once you put it on. So I use contact adhesive. Um, this is the one I use. There's so many you can use. Um, there's also a Wix own brand one which is really good. Um, as long as it's a contact adhesive, it dries clear, then it's fine. So you just put it on, and a bit onto the back, and then you just have to leave to dry until it goes tacky. And then once the two are put together, that's what uh, makes the seal really tight. So we'll leave that for now and go on to the next one. Now a lot of people now are using these rhinestone pendants as centrepieces um, but they are bigger and heavier and they do have, most of them have a metal back. If you hot glue on here and try and stick that onto your bow it's just going to peel right off. So what I do, you get a bit of felt, you can either cut out um, from a felt circle or a sheet of felt. I think Hobbycraft do them for about 50p per sheet. So I've just cut this at a bit of an odd shape because Cinderella is thicker at the bottom than she's at the top. Then again, with your high contact glue, glue a little bit on here, and then just do the middle of the felt. So leave the top and the bottom. If we leave them to dry, I'll show you why we do that once they're all dried. Right, while they're drying, um, I'll show you how to attach um, one of the bows onto an Alice band. It really is quite simple. So I've got a bow here, and I've just stuck on a bit of 9mm onto the top. I've got my Alice band. Then just with hot glue, put a strip onto the Alice band. Turn your bow over and push it down. Then what we do after that, just measure your 9mm pieces, bring it round and see where you have to cut. Just trim the pick both ends off. And 
And you're going to make sure you heat seal the ends to stop them from fraying. And then you just dab a bit of hot glue a bit around the band. And do the same with the other side. And glue it around the band. And then it's nicely reattached. Very strong. It won't come off. It looks neat and tidy. Okay, so that's the whole Alice band. Now, um, if we do a bobble, so I've got a bow here I've made out of felt. Again, to put a bit of nine mil over the top. Turn it over. Um, now, some bobbles I use have got the metal bit, and some don't. If you are using one with a metal bit, this is what we need to glue on. If you glue on here, this is going to be showing, and personally I don't like that, I like it to be hidden, so then you've got the nice band to wrap around the hair. So again, just get your hot glue gun, glue on the bubble here, and then push that into the middle of your bow. It's really the same process as the Alice band. You then have to wrap your nine mil around the bow, uh, sorry, the bobble, and that again will make it more secure. I'll just show you that quickly. Ooh. Put the glue on here. It round and over. Let's push it down either side of the bubble. And turn it over and do the same with this side. And this one is going to have a bottle cap in the middle. But, so as you can see, it like that in the boat bubble. Very secure, won't come off. Okay, now with the clips, there's so many clips out at the moment. I'll just show you a few that you can use. You've got the standard crocodile clip, see the little jagged edges. I think this one's uh, 4.5 mils. You've got the larger ones, exactly the same, these are 7 mil, uh, 70 mil, 7 centimetres. And I use these ones more for the uh, bigger boutiques, the seven centimetre ones. And you've got a double prong one, so you've got the two prongs here. These are really good for lining. So if you've got nine mil ribbon, like this, you can stick it on and attach it. And it gives it a nicer finish. You've got the single prong, which is like this. Generally, I just use them if they're lined. I normally buy them already lined, it's easier. You've got your barrette clips. Um, so for this one, I've made, um, this bow is quite cool. It's a, a cheerleader bow I made for my daughter for when we go on day trips or she goes out uh, with the school. And it has my number, which now you all know, if she ever gets lost. So for this one, I'm going to use lined clip. Now with the lined ones you can just glue straight on to the clip and then straight onto the back of the bow and just hold down. Like so. Now with the um, the larger boutique bows and the larger clips, now you can do it with the smaller ones too. What you can do, you get a felt circle, fold it in half, and just cut a couple of slits in the middle. Open it back out, get your clip, push it through the holes, 
and then uh, if I get this here see the back of the bow you just glue along here and over here and then you position it onto the back of the bow and it's got a nice finish then and it's really secure right we'll see if some of these are a bit dry let's go back to the bottle cap image you can see it's tacky now so you literally just pop that in and push it down just check this one right, that's tacky as well so what we'll do we'll put the felt, so, felt strip onto here and again make sure these two ends aren't glued down because you're going to need them right, and that's really secure now and unlike hot glue it's not going to peel off right, I'll show you how you attach that to the bow a little bit later right so with the bottle cap image Again, it's got metal on the back, so if you just hot glue that straight to the bow, it's going to peel off. So again, get a felt circle. Use your hot glue. Well, it's not quite hot enough yet, but it will do the job. And glue that to the back to push down. Secure. And now when you glue this to your bow, it's not going to peel off. Just put a bit of glue on. And then just push it onto the bow. And push down for a couple of seconds. It does adhere quite quickly. And set. And there it is. Okay, so the next thing which you've all been asking me for is how to shape um, your Twisted Boutique bow, the loops on your Twisted Boutiques. So this is how mine's come out after I've just tied it, shaped it and tied it. It looks fine, but some people prefer um, a different shape. And also, if it gets squished, we need to make sure it holds. So my trick is, get a couple of single prong clips, or any clips will do really. And then all we do, is you pop them in to the loops, like this, and just push down in the middle a little bit, make sure it's all even. You've got one like that, just check the bottom as well, make sure they're all the same. Right, and you do again the same on the bottom loops. Just push that clip right the way in. Again, just jiggle it about a bit, make sure it's even. Make sure the back's all even and the top is all nice and straight because we are going to set this. So once you've done that, what I use is spray starch. Um, I buy this from Tesco's, it's one pound something a bottle. Um, some people use hairspray, um, I prefer this. So literally Put um, your bow on some paper, just a bit of plain paper because it is wet. Spray it all over and on the back and then leave to dry. Um, I normally just uh, pop it underneath a lamp and it dries a little bit quicker. So if I just take them off, I'm just wiggle it around again. So this is one I've already starched and dried. So if you just take these off. And then you can see 
the difference that it makes. Nice straight, even loops. And they hold. So it makes the ribbon, the starch makes the ribbon a bit stiffer, but not too stiff, it has to be um, all crispy and crunchy, which I find hairspray does sometimes. So I'm just going to pop this onto the boutique and then I can show you how to attach the rhinestone pendant. You can forward this bit if you want, it's just um, so I can get it ready. I do have another tutorial if you want to know how to make all three layers of the boutique bow. Uh, so the surrounds, the spikes and the twisted boutique on top. So I'm just going to quickly pop a bit of 9mm in the middle there. And another little trick is if you're um, if you're doing a custom order and you know what they want it attached to, then that's fine. You can go ahead and do that. If you're just making um, your own design ready to sell, don't glue this the back of the nine mil. Just tie it in a knot, and then once it does sell, you can give the customer a choice of what you want. They want it attached to. So whether it be a clip, a bobble, an Alice band, and then you can do that. So if I show you now how to attach the rhinestone pendant. So you've already got your felt on, you've left your two little flaps up here. So all we're going to do is we're going to hot glue in the middle and on the flaps. So then if I just lift this up so you can see a bit better. The flaps will end up going around the centre of your bow. So you glue the bit on top and then the bits that are on the sides, I'll just open this up, can you see here? And then you can push them down and it'll give just that extra bit of stability. And what I normally do for that, if I just put, pop some hot glue on, and show you how that works. So you pop it in the middle, and then what I normally use is my picker pencil, because it's white so it doesn't stain. And then find the flap and just push that down on this side and the other side too. And you see you're just pushing it down there. And obviously make sure you push this centre bit as well. she is and then she's very secure not going to come off very easily at all okay I think that is all oh, no, I've got the lace sorry okay so a lot of you have been asking how you add uh, lace to your boutiques so I'll just show you a bit roughly how I do them so you cut a bit of lace um, how long really depends on the width of your lace and also the size of your boutique and how you want the overall look to be. Um, so what you do to get a bit of, you need a needle and thread, this is the only thing I sew, only thing. So you literally just go up and down on the edge of your lace. And you do that all the way along. I'll do one more. And then what you can see it does is when you pull it, it all gathers up. You see? So you want to do that right the way to the end. And when you get to the end, it'll all be gathered and then you just tie, you sew, sorry, 
the two ends together. And then once that's done, it will end up like this. You have your lovely, lovely lace circle, almost a circle. And I have trimmed the ends off. The ends did come further in. I like it to be a nice shape, straight shape there. So what you need to do after you've done that is again get a couple of felt circles and we're going to glue those one on the front and another one on the back. So you glue them on like that. And once you've done that, it's really up to you whereabouts you position them on your bow. So you put a bit of hot glue on your felt and you can even glue it to the back of your boutique. So it's like this. And you can add more colours, more lace all the way around if you wanted to. Or you can add it in between your twisted boutique and the spikes. So it's like this. It's really up to you. You can position it anywhere you want. You can do it exactly in the centre. It's like a peacock. But that's how you do the lace and how you attach. Remember to put your felt circles to cover the centre and glue on like that. And that's the end. Um, if I've missed anything, got any hints or tri uh, tips that you that you want to know, just leave a comment below and I'll try and do them as well. Um, there are more tutorials coming up. Um, got some more for cheerleading bows, sweet and simple bows, pinwheel bows. Um, there's already tutorials up for um, a twisted boutique stat bow um, and also how to make your boutique bow stand out. So add in bling to it, add in lace, add in flowers. Um, I hope you enjoyed my tutorials so far. Please leave comments and let me know um, what you think of the tutorials, whether it's good or bad, anything I can do better or what you've enjoyed. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.